Tequila is a classically Mexican spirit, known worldwide, but unfortunately has a bad reputation of just being a shot drinking spirit to get drunk. When in fact, it's an incredibly diverse drink that's made for sipping to truly understand the unique taste. But that's a video for another time. Today we're talking about a Paloma, or Duff cocktails, that's really famous all over Mexico and starting to gain huge popularity in the US too. It's a simple cocktail consisting of tequila, salt, lime, grapefruit soda, commonly known as squirt. And in this video, we're going to be making our very own squirt using a fermentation method that will also boost the alcohol percentage. So you can't really go wrong with that, right? Here we have two nicely ripened grapefruits. And first, we have to remember how bitter this fruit is to start with. So we're going to be peeling off the rind, but make sure we don't take any of that white pith with us. We're going to be using the rind for the nice fragrant oils that's in the skin. And it's going to add amazing flavor to our soda. And then I only chopped it in half because I wanted to show the beautiful cross section of this fruit, but it's actually a lot easier just to keep it whole and cut around the fruit, taking off as much of the white pith as possible. For each grapefruit, I went with 150 grams of sugar. So that's 300 grams total. We're not going for alcohol content here as that's what tequila is for, but we will end up with an extra one or 2% from the sugar. Then we're gonna throw in a few cloves for flavor, top the whole jar up with water and give it a good shake, making it look like a fruity snow globe. I then weighed the grapefruit down with a small, perfectly sized bowl, just to make sure everything stays below the water line, and let it sit in a coolish, dark place for about five days. As you can see, the colors changed, and there are still a few bubbles when I tap the sides, so that means that the fermentation hasn't finished yet, but it's perfect, so we don't need to add anything to make it carbonated. So I filtered it out and tried a little bit. It was pretty good, even though I don't actually like the fruit of the grapefruit, but I do love the grapefruit soda, so, you know. I also refilled the jar with another 300 grams of sugar and topped it up with water for a second batch. I poured the first batch into a bottle with a firm seal. You need a firm seal as it may get over carbonated and blow up and you don't really want that. So we're going to leave it in the same place for another one to two days. Okay, so here we are. We've got our grapefruit soda. It's been fermenting for five days and then we filtered it and then we left it outside for another two days and I just stuck it in the fridge this morning so it's nice and cold. Here's the moment of truth. It should be nice and carbonated. So let's see. Look at that carbonation, that's crazy. Completely natural carbonation. Take the top off very slowly. Oh yes. Okay, so time to make the paloma. First, salt and lime. Just around the edge. And then just dip it straight into the salt. You want to make sure you get a nice rim coat and just tap any excess off. Next, go in with some ice. And everyone's favourite ingredient, tequila. Go in with a full shot. So then we're going to squeeze the rest of that lime juice. And then we literally just top it up with the grapefruit soda. We need to stir it with a knife. Apparently that's the traditional way. And there you go, that's your Paloma. If you're wondering why I'm not adding any grapefruit garnish to it, that's because that's an orange. I forgot to buy some extra ones, you know, for the, for the garnish and stuff, so I'll put an orange there just to make it look kind of cool. Anyway, salute. Oh my God, that's awesome. I was worried it was gonna to be too bitter with the grapefruit, but that's the perfect amount of salty, sweet, bitter, sour tequila. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, do all that stuff. I'll see you in the next one. And remember to just keep drinking.